Hey guys, it's Dongo here and today I'm show you how to be in control. I know I am in control. If you don't believe me, ask my lady friends. Or Jim, am I in control? Yeah, sure. There you go. But the question is, in control of what? Your home network, of course. And when it comes to home networking, the very first thing to think about is the network cable right here. Because even if you use all wireless kind of clients, you still need to connect the modem to your wireless router. Now, this is a typical network cable right here. You can buy from Best Buy or Radio Shack, paying $7 or $10 for about four feet. Now, the money is not the issue here, even though that is grossly overpriced. My concern is that you can never actually find a cable of perfect length. They come in three feet, 1.5 feet, four feet, seven feet, etc. What if you want something that is exactly half a foot or four feet 20? You have to make your own. The good news is, it's quite easy to do. You need a few things though. First, you need a tool, and this one here is the cut, strip, and crimp tool. It costs $15. And of course, you need the network connector hat, and this bag right here, hundreds of them, $3.45. You can actually find that online. And of course, network patch cable, you can buy them in bulk for about $40 or $100 for 1,000 feet. Or you can cut off this two hat right here and make this into a patch cable. But this is how to and you a very short cable right here. And look, this is a patch cable. You can use a stripping tool right here to strip the jacket off the cable. You want to strip about 1.5 inch off of it. Or you can make it longer if you want to. Now on the inside, you can find eight color-coded wires. White, orange, solid orange, white, green, solid blue, white, blue, solid green, white, brown, and solid brown. Once you have got them in the right order, you want to straighten them up in the same order, make sure all the wires stay together and has the same length. You can actually cut off a little bit of the top to make sure they are on the same length. Here you go. Now, take a network connector hat right here with the bottom of the hat facing you, you want to insert the Y into the network connector. There you go. And then using the crimp tool, insert the connector into the crimp slot and crimp it. There you go. And make yourself one end of a network cable. Now that you know how to make a network cable, let's learn about how to make a world network port. So basically, a world network port or network jack comes with two parts, the faceplate and the network port jack itself. Now, you put the cable in the middle of the jack and push down the Y on the pin of the right color for the 568B standard. Okay, now it's time to use the second tool. It's called punched out tool. And this tool right here costs about $20. It comes with a plate right here that will help cutting the excessive Y when you punch it down. There you go. It's all neat and clean. And this is the network port. You actually want to put the cover on to make it even more neat. The only thing left to do is to put this on the worm plate. And voila, we just made ourselves a network port and then putting it on the wall and it's ready to be used. There you go, I just told you how to take complete control of your wiring for your home network. For more information on how to do this with step-by-step -step detailed instruction, check out my write-up at cn.com. And if you want to find out how I really am in control, and you can also send me questions, go to my Facebook. See you there.